It's a bit of a cloudy day today and there's some lawn mowing and other noises in the background but I wanted to show you how much everything's bloomed in the last week or so. We had a lot of rain and as you can see the California poppies are doing great. It's really funny because they migrated they used to be over by um, by the dolly behind the strawberries and now they've migrated over to where they're in front here which I just love so I hope they stay there the irises are still bloomed and um, the dianthus is going crazy I've got some purple spiky stuff there that I really don't know the name of but we're gonna get a little bit closer and see what that looks like I bought these plants at Farmer's Market. Oh, look at the, the lilies are about to bloom too. But I bought these plants at Farmer's Market a few years back and they were just tiny and every year they get bigger and bigger and they're really pretty and the bees love them, the honeybees love them. So that's cool. And then check it out, I got a, um, oh, I can't remember the name of this dianthus, but there's two dianthus plants back here that I really like and they're like miniature blooms, so this one hasn't done it yet, but this one has. It's starting to bloom, so that's really pretty. And take a quick look here at the poppies, just because they're absolutely gorgeous. I just love these. And the kids and I have been looking for strawberries, and um, we found some. If you look right in here, in the middle, there's a nice one. They just have to get nice and red. And I honestly don't remember having these uh, produce fruit this early, so that's fun. Look at how sad my squash is. I put it in the ground. Well, you saw last video, so it's been a couple weeks. And then um, we got a ton of rain and no sun and no heat. So they're not happy. But I bet they'll do okay once, uh, once we start hitting above 70 and things are looking better. I finally got the potato plants mounded up. Um, I fear I was too late on a lot of them because uh, they're kind of breaking out of their mounds, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. The Bleeding Heart has all but finished blooming, and now the thyme and the uh, red dianthus are coming up. So those look nice. 